Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this custom hearth and install this wood stove inside of this bus. Hey, what's up everyone? For those who don't know me, I'm John. I am currently converting a school bus into a tiny house on wheels. For the past two years, I have been working on this bus on a very small budget. Even if I knew nothing about bus conversion prior to buying one, but let's find out together. And join me on my journey from converting my school bus. Enjoy the ride. Before I start, allow me to pause for a second because I lost the beginning of the footage of the custom hearth. But here I am starting with the first cement board placed on the floor. So let's keep watching. I just finished uh, screwing the cement board onto the floor. So now let's proceed to the rest of the job, which means basically I'm gonna uh, close this uh, these area, those two uh, lower parts <clears throat> of the windows. So I just cleaned them up. Now I'm gonna apply some paint. I'm gonna cover obviously the wood here because I don't want to uh, put paint on it. Um, so I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna apply just a first, uh, just a first rough uh, layer of paint. I'm gonna wait for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna apply another coat of paint until it's completely blacked out. And then I will be able to apply part of the insulation that I have right here. And then I will cover everything up with uh, these that I need to cut to size, which means I need to cut to come level with uh, this part of the of the window so let's go all right i was so busy today uh well doing stuff that i completely forgot to uh, videotape but basically this is the box for uh, the wood stove so the box is uh, done i'm gonna uh, create the spacers i am going to uh, place the sheet metals and then I am going to uh, screw the cement board onto the, onto the sheet metals. So this way it's gonna be fixed. And then I will be able to apply uh, the tiling. I have cut already the first tube that I have into one inch pieces. One more step done, I have placed those uh, sheet metal and they have all a one inch spacer as you can see here, here and uh, here as well. So this way now I am really up to code and I will be able now to, for the next step to place the uh, cement board like this one on the floor and then I'll be able to start tiling. So now this uh, job is done. The salmon boards are placed onto the floor and onto those three sides. So right now I have to prepare the, the mortar. So this way I would be able to start uh, applying the tiles. But first I'm gonna do the floor uh, just to see how it goes. And then as soon as it's okay, as, well, as soon as it's done, then I will start uh, making the walls. So. All right, so this is what it will look like. So now let's get, uh, well, glue them onto the floor and, uh, and go from there. So let's go. The mortar is uh, almost ready. I need to let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. So it's been almost five minutes and uh, I already removed three rows, but I'm gonna do two rows at the time.
Okay, um, it is now almost 24 hours, so everything is done, everything is settled and uh, cured, uh, so I can walk on it, like here. Now I'm starting to work on those uh, those sides, so I'm gonna do this one first, second, and then I'm gonna finish last with this one. Okay, you won't, it's not easy to film because I'm really in front of the camera, but uh, here is uh, what I've been doing so far. I'm halfway up to uh, the last panel, and uh, so here is how it looks like. All right, so everything is styled, everything is done. Uh, this is how it looks like right now. I need to wait for this part to cure for the next 24 hours. I would start then to apply the grout everywhere um, I cleaned up the mess just to make sure that there's uh, nothing else between the tiles and everything and so now I need to prepare the grout and grout everywhere and same thing I have to wait for 24 hours and so let's go before applying the grout obviously I needed to uh, have borders so this way uh, the grout would not like flow out from from everywhere so I did this border right here, there, and here as well. It looks really nice. I really like uh, what I did. It's, uh, it's actually great. This is uh, the area on the floor. And, and yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of nice, actually. I'm really glad about what I did. Here is the result just before applying the grout. And well, trying to apply the grout when it's uh, cold outside and well, it's, it's still cold inside the bus, even though uh, insulation is, uh, is done except for the roof, for the ceiling. Uh, this is basically my setup. So I have, uh, I have uh, rigid insulation on both sides. I have one small here. I have this uh, radiator right there. So this way I'm trying to like maintain a certain temperature so this way it's not too cold and uh, I'll be able to uh, apply the grout. Really need to install the wood stove as soon as possible so this way I'll be able to work inside the bus during the whole winter because last year uh, I couldn't and I lost three months of work uh, because of that. <music> There's a lot of, uh, of grout still remaining on the tiles, so I'm washing and washing and washing and uh, it's not even close to being completely uh, clean. So now that it's done, I have to make sure that it's clean and properly clean. And as soon as it's uh, cleaned, then I'll be able to put the wood stove in and then install uh, the, the chimney that would go right here. All right, so there you have it. There you have the uh, wood stove installed, well, put into the custom hearth. Right now I need to obviously uh, do the chimney, but this is how it looks like right now. So I am really happy about the result. So today I'm installing the chimney right up here. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it and uh, hopefully you're gonna learn something but uh, first things first uh, I need to adjust the stove the stove pipe right here to make it per perpendicular 
So this way, when I take my measurements here, uh, it's at the right place. So I don't want to cut too much. All right, first what I use is this metal angle. What I did is follow along the tubing and then draw some multiple points. So then I will be able to draw a circle or some sort of an ellipse. From then on, I would start measure again because I needed to make I need to make a bigger hole to accept the outer chimney part. However, what I did is instead of cutting a big uh, a big circle, I then started to draw lines, and then from the lines, I would use the angle grinder to create some sort of flaps, which alternatively one would go up and then one will go down, and uh, I'll let you see the rest. Okay, so I have removed uh, the snow on the roof and now it's uh, it's time to cut and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed out <laughs> because it's uh, something that I can't miss. Let's go! Okay, so now it's time for me to uh, pass through the chimney onto the, this hole. Okay, so uh, this is how it looks like right now. Uh, I made it through the roof I used a hammer to make some small adjustments so it's not completely uh, uh, square and straight but I'm gonna correct it uh, with a little bit of hammering uh, from here and there from now on what I need to do is I need to secure I need to secure from the top with the weatherproof cover that I bought and I'm gonna show you uh, it in a second and uh, and that would be it then i will have to put the chimney cover and uh, that would be i would be done so you may see the screws right here so yeah i put a lot of them so this way it's uh, well screwed onto the roof and uh, there is also a little bit of product that is uh, going uh, going through uh, the the hole made by the screw so yeah i put a lot of that sealant the last thing i need to install is uh, the chimney cover the chimney cap okay so uh first time using the wood stove i have prepared some leftover woods that i had uh it's i know it's not the proper uh wood to use but i just want to heat it up for the first time and uh, see how it works exactly. It's not ideal, I know, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna make it better. So it seems that the fire is uh, firing well. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. And uh, here is how it looks like from the exterior. It's pretty cool, actually. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it's uh, working really, really well. I'm, I'm really excited about it. So there you have it. This is how I created this custom hearth and installed this wood stove inside of my bus. If you haven't seen any other of my videos, if you're new to the channel, please uh, go watch the previous one, which is how I made the subfloor. In this video, I'm explaining how I create this subfloor for cheap.